Hi, welcome to Adobe Gab. Today, I will be going to show you how to use the push or pull tool in SketchUp. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we are here in the sophisticated world of SketchUp. And I'm gonna get this push or pull tool in the toolbar. Also, the shortcut key of this is P. Let's try this one. So as I point this on the face of the square, we can see that it is highlighted. Let's click on the face of this, and try to move it up. And then click again. Another one. Oh, additionally, you can also get the length of the thing. Let's say we want this to be the exact height of Laura. So what we're going to do, is move this up, and then just hover your mouse on the head of Laura. And then click again. And we got the height that we wanted. You can also put the specific length that you like. Let's try this one. Click on the circle. And put the value that you want. Let's move to our next example. Then push and pull this window. Let's try to remove this window. To remove this is just pull this thing until you see the on face sign and click. Let's try to cross this hole. The second one. Click, pull, and wait till you see the on face sign. The third one. Again, click, pull, and wait till you see the on face sign. Let's try this wall. And it disappears. Let's go to our last example and try to make this longer. So when you double click on this area, this will exactly copy the length that you made before on the triangle. So as you see they now have the same length. Let's try this one. Double click. Double click. And double click. Also if you hit the control or option key on your keyboard, you'll see a plus sign. And when we use this one, this will create a new starting face. As you see there is now a line, it means it has now a new starting face. Let's try to look inside and see what happens. This creates a new face here. So that's how you can use the push or pull tool in SketchUp. Thank you for watching I hope you learned a lot from this SketchUp tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also click the notification bell, so you wouldn't miss out on my videos and stay safe. Now we know how to use the push or pull tool. What about how to use the paint bucket tool? Find out with this video. Or learn more on how to make a sphere in SketchUp.